Hi everybody and welcome to the You Are Home Live Campus Health segment. I'm Brianne Carter and I'm Marketing and Communications for Pat Walker Health Center and we're here at the corner yes. of Maple and Garland. The big corner right here. Yes. So you can't miss our building, Pat Walker Health Center, directly right across from us. You've got Holcomb Hall and the U York Bookstore, kind of catty cornered across the street. Uh, so we're going to go into the Pat Walker Health Center and tell you a little bit about the services and departments that are in the health center and what we have to do. We are open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday and then we are open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. Yeah, and um, welcome everybody to our uh, York Home Live. Be sure to let us know uh, where you're from and we got plenty of plenty realize, of good answers to questions. I realize I don't have swipe access to this okay. area. So we're going to go down to one of the areas that I do have swipe access in. That but sounds good. Just introduce you guys a little bit to um, the entrances that we have. So we have four okay. entrances, entrances into the Pat Walker Health Center building. We're walking um, down. Is this, this is Garland, right? Yes, this is Garland. So we're walking north down Garland. Ah. Um, and so you'll down further, there's more quad areas. Uh, so that may be one of your residence halls, one of the quads. I'm not sure if they refer to them as quads anymore these days. Northwest quads? Yes. I have to call out your ability to walk backwards and talk to me at the same time. It's remarkably impressive. I grew up as a competitive dancer and I teach dance on the side. side wow. Dance. So okay. So that's why I can walk backwards, maybe. That's um, so far so good. So we've kind of already passed a little section of our primary mm -hmm. care clinic behind us. Um, I don't know if you can see through the windows, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that entrance that we're going to go into is our sort of east little middle section of the building right on the first floor um, there are two floors in the building fyi yeah. um, there is the medical clinics floor that also has our classroom space here and there's um, the second floor that has the counseling and psychological services cats um, department as well as the uh, wellness suite with the wellness lounge uh -huh. and the substance education assessment and recovery program as well. Okay. So the entrance that we're coming in here. Here I get that door. Like I said, it's from our east side middle entrance. You see our Walker family classrooms down yeah. here. So you may have a uh, a class in the health center. It could be you know a public speaking class, a university perspectives class. And and the way you'll know that is if in your class like uh, room it says. P W H C, right? No, it's no. actually health. So oh, H L T H. H okay. So that you're oriented. This is kind of like our middle uh, entrance staircase, mm -hmm. and then right here over the corner, um, it's to my right. I'm not sure if it would be to your left or to your right. That's where our elevator access is to okay. the second floor. Very we're good. To use that. Um, so down there, you can kind of see behind me uh, is our primary care clinic, and so our primary care clinic houses a bunch of different resources um, and programs. And so primary care clinic and all of the medical clinics on the first floor all bill with insurance. Now, what does that mean? That means you come in on your parents' insurance, you come in and you enrolled in student health insurance, a uh, bunch of different ways that you could have done it, right? But you come with your insurance card when you make an appointment um, and you can do that on the patient portal that we have. So if you go to health.uark.edu, mm -hmm. click the patient portal button, you log in with your university email and password and you're able to make an appointment there. Or you can call us. You can call 479-575-4451 and there are plenty of options after that for you to make an appointment, whether it's with the primary care clinic, the GYN women's clinic that we'll go over to a little bit later, um, or other resources that are in. There are a lot here. Yes. A lot of so medical resources. So in the primary care clinic, there is the allergy immunization travel clinic where you could get a updated COVID shot mm, this fall. Flu shots, all those kind of things. Flu shot this fall. Um, there are is also our psychiatrist team. So uh, we have three different psychiatrists on our team. Um, you do need a referral from one of our medical providers in the primary care clinic. Mm -hmm. So you could also make one of our primary care clinic providers your primary care okay. provider. So y'all do offer psychiatric service as well? We do offer okay. psychiatric services as well. And so kind of behind me too, you see our waiting area. Mm -hmm. And this is where you would wait for any of those appointments that I mentioned. So that's psychiatry, that's regular primary care, that's allergy immunization. 
as well as we do have some specialty services available. So we have orthopedic, sports medicine uh, doctors in-house one day a week that you, you could get a referral from a, a medical provider to go and see that orthopedic specialist. Or we do have a dietitian in-house as well, uh, nice. five days a week um, that you could get a referral from the medical provider as well. So real doctors, real nurse practitioners, providers that are giving you um, the, the essential health care services that you need while you're here on campus at the University of Arkansas. It's incredibly convenient. Yes. Because incredible. nearby we've got Futural, Holcomb Hall, and then we've got the Northwest Quad buildings, Clark and Morgan and all those. So it's just really, really close. Yes. Yes, it is. So right behind me, we're coming up on our GYN Women's Clinic. Mm -hmm area and so the GYN women's clinic offers a plethora of different resources from contraception options to general GYN annual exams um, just learning more about your gynecological health so if you are needing to discuss with a provider we have four providers directly that work in the GYN women's clinic as well as you know nurses and medical assistants that work there as well um, so definitely give us a call, make an appointment, and come and check us out and, and come and get your, your needs met here. And you've got some top doctors back there too. I know that one of them uh, uh, was a doctor I'm familiar with and, and decided to come here because really wanted to work for the university, wanted to work for what y'all are doing here. So yes. y'all recruit a lot of really great doctors. So now we're heading up the stairs. And like I said earlier, uh, we have our counseling and psychological services CAPS department mm -hmm. up here. So if you're ever needing further mental health care needs, you know, such as just, you know, how to get started, et cetera, um, I'll let one of our CAPS representatives here, uh, introduce okay. herself and talk to you more about CAPS. Hello. There's everyone. CAPS up there. Yeah, got it. Hello. Yes, here we are. Well, my name is Suelen Ayala. I'm one of the mental health clinicians here at CAPS. So right now we are right outside of our offices. Mm -hmm. So through these walls, you will find the waiting room. So follow me and we'll get Yes, it. let's check it out. I noticed that these, these windows are not very transparent. You can't They're see what's not. in there. So basically this is for privacy. Privacy, sure. Need lots of privacy when it comes to the medical issues. It makes a lot of sense. Right, so we're gonna enter now our waiting room. Okay. So as you can see, it's a very nice area. We have some puzzles, yeah. some coloring stuff. Like this is a place you will wait uh, for your appointment. And I just wanna to talk to you about how to start with CAPS. So basically we do walk-ins. You don't have to make an appointment ahead of time. You don't have to call, just come in here, talk with our front desk staff and let them know you wanna see someone for that day. I will say, come in with at least one hour of availability because you're gonna to have to, you know, fill out a little bit of paperwork. A little bit of, little bit of processing, sure. Exactly, and then you meet with one of us. That will be 20 to 30 minutes, so mm -hmm. an hour will be a good amount of time. And basically, you will just talk about what is that brought you in in the first place yeah. and will help you get connected with resources. It could be CAP services or it could be other campus resources. We also do that, but I'll talk to you about CAP services. So we basically provide um, short-term individual counseling. Mm -hmm. We also have groups and workshops, and we also have a 24-7 phone line for emergency oh, cases. Okay. So even if we are close, you can still call our CAPS number, which is on the back of your student ID. Mm -hmm. I think it says mental health emergency. So you can call that number, even if we're close, and you will talk with someone. So and it's a trained clinician as well. So you're, so you're never alone? You're never alone. We always have resources for you, and we really want you to access them whenever you need them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we also have outreach events. So you may see us on campus doing some fun stuff for just our campus community. So now I'm just gonna pass it to another coworker, Margie. Yes, okay. She's gonna talk to you more about other fun resources. Yes. So let's... we're gonna walk right here into this very cool space. <laughs> okay. Hi, Margie. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Very uh, good. Very good. How's everything going? We're we're doing good. We're learning about all of the uh, health resources we have here. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Lane Mars yeah. Meditation Room. Yeah. Take a look around. So 
usually the lighting in here is you know dimmer just for more relaxation purposes mm -hmm. however for your video quality we decided to turn it up a little bit so you can see um all the things here so over here we have some massage chairs uh -huh. um we have different meditation um setups that you can you know either use your meditative devices or you can also check out ipads from our front um, office staff that already has pre-programmed meditation like apps and things like that this um, might be the chillest spot on campus it really is it, might it really be. is yeah. um Again, as long as we're open here at CAFS, you're more than welcome to use this um, room. There is no time limit. All you need to do is just show your student ID to a member of our front office staff. And, you know, I know we have people use it for, you know, studying, maybe taking a nap after a stressful day. Yeah. Or just, you yeah. know, just basic time to debrief mm -hmm. and things like that. So welcome to Lay Mars. Relax yes, I like it a lot. It's great. So now um, I'm going to talk to you about you know, our embedded team mm -hmm. here. So whenever we say embedded, think about if Cavs and Housen had a baby, that would be us, right? Okay. So I'm a member right. of the embedded team. Uh -huh. um, so we partner with Housen and Cavs to provide individual services to students with a housing contract. Yes. So, and it could even be like students that have housing contracts but live on our off-campus apartments. Mm -hmm. On our team, we have four embedded clinicians. We'll have offices here at CAFS and also in the dorms yeah. all over campus. So you may get any one of us. And we're actually walking down to one of the, um, to Swellen's office actually, um, just because everyone, it's, our personalities are different. Our offices <laughs> may look different. Sure. Um, so you get to see at least what one of the offices. So, so just to call that out exactly, um, obviously CAPS offers a lot of things, but mm -hmm. if you're a, um, a student who has a housing contract, you also have a special level of access through the Embedded Team program. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Very cool. Absolutely. You're All part right. of the Elite Squad. <laughs> there you go. And welcome to Soylent's office, yes. everybody. Yes. Hey. Yeah, hello. Hey, good again. to see you again. Yes. Absolutely. So this is my office. Let's look at your so office. This yeah. is similar to what a counseling office may look like, right? Mm-hmm. So nice we, greenery up there. Yeah, we try to make it very, like, calm, like a really nice space for students. So, yeah. Yeah. So some of the things that students may come talk about, I mean, it could be right, well, a variety of things. Yeah. Why do people come talk to you? Yeah. So I think sometimes they come in because of adjusting, right? Mm. Like college is really exciting, but it can also be hard. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they need to just talk with someone about these changes that they're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So it could be anything from being homesick to be sad, to having a hard time managing all their academics and their schedule on their own in that transition to new friendships. So many people are out, could be many, many things. So we want you guys to come if you're experiencing any type of like stress or distress and check out our offices. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can sit with uh, Sue Ellen for a little while perhaps yeah. and talk about what's going on. So I'm gonna show you how you will come out usually. So mm -hmm. once your appointment is done, you will just come down um, this hall and you will use any of our exit doors so okay. you don't always have to go out back in the waiting area you can just kind of come out of one of these doors so that's what we'll do Where it says exit very good all right well that's our cab tour everyone thank you thank us. you all right where are we going next? Hi everybody, Brianne back again and we are about to head down to our Sear suite. Uh, that's also where the wellness lounge is. It's mm -hmm. a conjoined uh, office suite okay. that the, the wellness team that's a part of University Recreation as well as the SEER team that's a part of medical services here at Pat Walker Hill Center, uh, they share that suite. So SEER stands for Substance Education Assessment and Recovery. Okay. And the SEER program does a plethora of different things, but specifically they work with students in or seeking recovery uh, from substance use uh, disorders. And so that could be struggling with alcohol consumption, that could be um, just seeking to, to find sobriety and to become sober, that could be uh, drug use, and so they offer assessments for students mm -hmm. um, and something called basics as well. And so if you are interested in any of those services, please send an email to seer at uark.edu. 
um, and they can get you started in that. Um, I've always been impressed by how many sort of sober programs we have. That is to say, programs where the emphasis is on, you know, um, sobriety and just coming together as friends and meeting each other in that way in an environment that doesn't feel, you know, like it might go in a different direction. So. Yeah. So specifically in SEER, they also have a departmental student organization mm -hmm. that is a peer student support group of sorts, right? They're called Razorback Recovery. So if you are in or seeking recovery, definitely connect with Razorback Recovery that's in this SEER suite. Uh, they have weekly meetings and they do some peer mentoring. They do different fun, sober events. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they go and play bowling. Um, sometimes they go and just have a day or a night out in the park, um, whatever it be. Also behind us, you'll kind of see like one of our little study areas that we have available. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be sick or seeking mental health care or seeking the SEER services that we have to offer here to come in the building and just check out the space um, and learn a bit more about what we have to offer or just study and relax. And, and during finals, you'll see that students go everywhere to study and I imagine they come here too, right? Yeah. So one more plug for what our SEER program does. Something that's uh, been really big for our campus community is Naloxone and Narcan that's available in all of the campus mm. buildings across uh, the University of Arkansas. And so if you don't know what naloxone or Narcan is, it's an opioid overdose uh, reversal medication. And so it specifically works for opioids. Um, and SEER offers trainings. They offer monthly trainings during the fall and spring semesters on what Narcan naloxone is, right? Narcan's the brand name. And they tell you more about what an opioid overdose may look like. They give you the specific training. They specifically partner with Northwest Arkansas Harm Reduction. Mm -hmm. And they do that training uh, for students, faculty, and staff. So tell your friends, tell your professors, uh, tell anyone you meet. Uh, feel free to, to look for more information when those events happen on HogSync. If you haven't heard about HogSync, definitely recommend that you do a Google search and type in Hog Sync UARC and find out some more information. That's definitely where SEER puts a lot of their events, as well as if the health center does any kind of outreach for our medical clinics, we also put events on um, Hog Sync and yeah. you'll just see us at other campus partner events. So now we're about to go into this wellness lounge SEER suite area. All right. And I'm going to pass right it off to a representative with UARC Wellness that's a part of University of Recreation Wellness Team. Okay. Well, hello there. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. So uh, I understand this is a pretty cool place to hang out. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is the Wellness Lounge. Mm -hmm. So we welcome all students, staff, and faculty here. Um, so as you can see, it's a nice little space. You can hang yeah, out, do your I homework, like and... um, play some puzzles, whatever you want to do. Very cool. We have other things over here as well. So mm -hmm. we have free snacks for students at all times. What? Did you um, say free? Yes. Free, free snacks. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's awesome. We have microwaves. Um, we always have tea, water. Um, so please feel free to come and grab those things. You also have access to the fridge. Nice. Um, There's a fridge right we here. We have Chobani yogurt. It's a favorite. Water, Delicious. sodas. And um, we also have um, some items in the drawers. So you need scantrons, pencils, anything like that. Oh, here. okay. Feel free to come in. Um, and grab what you need. Scantrons, do you mind telling them? Because they may not know what scantrons are used for. They might, you might need them for a test. Yes, Every now yes. and then professors will ask for scantrons, you can just come in and grab those. Exactly, so. and then sometimes you don't have one and you learn you have to have one, so come here and grab one yeah. if you need one. That's great. Yeah, we have lots of services on campus too here um, with wellness, so we have peer coaching. Um, so with wellness coaching, it's a free service for students. Um, they're about an hour long appointments, but if you want to learn anything about the eight dimensions of wellness, um, if you want to learn about time management, study skills, maybe you're feeling unmotivated, um, we can help you with that motivation. Um, and we do have other students who are actually the coaches. So it's that peer-to-peer mm -hmm. -peer relationship, um, which is great. We also have various wellness events. Um, so we have sexual health education events going on in the fall. We're going to have wellness Wednesdays, which are going to be here in the lounge. They're once a month. Um, and we also have the wellness hut. And so that you can find just various out on campus um, and they have lots of supplies for students that you can come and grab so really cool really yeah. cool I, I gotta ask about this chair what 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 do you do with that 
Yeah. It looks so like a half egg. We do. It does. It looks like a bathtub. A bathtub, um, sometimes yes. Sometimes it, it'll move, um, but this is our massage chair. It is also free for students. Um, you just have to come in. You sit in it. You do have to take your shoes off, um, and we have a little remote. So. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, five 30 minute sessions whatever you would like um it's really great if you need to recover from a workout if you're stressed or if you just want to relax you can come here and use that so. wow so many places to just like hang out get a little food and relax that's wonderful all right everybody i'm going to do a little recap of the space and then also talk about specific offices for sears so just right behind me we've got mm -hmm. jennifer morris uh she's a licensed professional counselor here and she is the one that does those assessments uh, for SEER if you're coming in uh, for an alcohol or drug assessment. And then um, over on this other area, we've got Ashley Joe's office and she's the one that works with our Razorback Recovery student peers uh, to talk about the different resources that they have available and plugging you in to that peer support community where you can get the weekly uh, meetings or you can talk about your struggles go out and do fun events together um, and learn and live sober um, and re in recovery and then one other thing I want to point out to you before we wrap this up is mm -hmm. you may have seen some of these digital signs throughout the health center uh, we had four new digital signs put up throughout the health center you'll see our hours so maybe we have an upcoming closure for holiday that you want to be aware of, of whether or not we're going to be open um, we're open you know throughout the year um, but obviously we do we do have closures when there are holidays recognized by the University of Arkansas and so we'll put up messaging like that we'll also put up messaging about sexual health education like Jordan mentioned um, we'll have mentioned mentions of our different services and programs on the sign so definitely be on the lookout for that there's one in the wellness lounge and Sears suite there's also one down by our classroom areas as well as one by the primary care clinic and the gyn women's clinic so if you have any questions uh, from today's uh, live mm -hmm. then definitely feel free to drop those in the comments feel free to dm us at uark health um, we'll get you connected and we're we're happy to have you join us here uh, this fall yeah, I mean, that's that's what this is all about, is getting you connected to this, the resources that are going to make you successful as soon as you arrive here in, what, a week and a half? Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's so happening. Soon. I know, I know. Uh, so final question, if you have any um, final questions, now is a great time. Uh, Brianne and everyone here are here to answer this for you. Um, and we'll wait a second to see if anybody has any questions or wants to say anything. But otherwise, let's ask, uh, Brianne, you've seen a lot of first-year students arrive. What do you think is like a number one thing to know when it comes to uh, you know, wellness and health and being successful on the University of Arkansas campus? Yeah, I would say definitely making sure that you get plugged in and connected. Mm -hmm. um, so whether that's, you know, you need some kind of connections outside of just your academic classes, but definitely getting connected to your peers in your academic classes would be a great start. But also there's different resources that, you know, the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership has of like getting started with a registered student organization, Yeah. right? Um, whether that's getting started with a departmental student organization like Razorback Recovery or, you know, CAPS has ambassadors, SEER has ambassadors. Um, I'm actually the advisor for Hogs for Health, which is sort of an ambassador for all of our medical clinics. So I would say definitely getting plugged in and getting connected with your peers um, and also the resources that we have here. Uh, so if you didn't know, uh, medical services, counseling and psychological services, CAPS, as well as you know, SEER and York Wellness that we met today, all of us are in the Division of Student Affairs, uh, which is we're here for our students to succeed. Um, we're here for them as you know, we they are navigating this new um, yes, this called, new campus, this, this new, new campus, big this, campus, this new opportunity, uh, new experiences, right? Mm -hmm. So we're here for you for for all of it, and so. Um, if you have questions or if you you need um, some answers as far as your well-being goes, we're definitely here uh, to help and assist in any way that we can, whether that's you know getting started with one of us and the services that we have to offer or getting you connected um, to other departments or resources in the division or campus-wide. Excellent, excellent. Well, um, I would say you, you can see this later on our YouTube channel, uh, just in case you missed it now or have more questions. Um, but you mind waving us out? 
Yeah, I'll wave you out. And if you if you don't already, follow at York Wellness, at York Caps, at York Seer, at Razorback Recovery, and at York Health. It was nice to chat with you all.